Did they take you to the vision clinic last week or the week before that? Hmm. Okay. I can email Nurse Fernando and see if you're next on the list. The community itself around Roberts is ever-changing. Historically, it's been a white community, very Catholic, from years and years ago. It's been German, Italian, and Irish immigrants from throughout Cincinnati. Over the past 10 or 15 years, there's been immigrant families coming, and they have a lot of strengths and a lot of dreams and wishes. We're gonna start with our one minute greeting. So we're a magnet school, so we get kids that ride a bus or their parents bring them or they walk, but we get kids from a greater geographical area. Probably 20 or 25 different countries around the globe who probably speak well over 40 languages. So my name is Antonio Fernandez. I was born and raised in Puebla, Mexico. I have lived in Cincinnati area for the last five years. I am the director of the Roberts Welcome Center and in the Price Hill area. So uh, we work with the community, we work with the families and every student in the school. Due to the uh, current situation with immigration, a lot of families don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. So they leave the day day by day. In the morning, when they drop off their kids at school or they say goodbye before they get on the bus, they, they, they leave home knowing that maybe they won't see them at night. And, and it had happened, we have seen it. Uh, not too long ago, we had a student that we had to, to take to the classroom and, and let her know that her parents were gone and she needed to leave the country. I played soccer. Uh, my whole life. It was my passion, a big passion of mine. I love to be part of a team. I love to, to be able to impact a, a group of people. So I, I, I wanted to play pro and that was my dream. And then a coach uh, watched me playing. He was from Mishawak, Indiana, a small university there, but he offered me a scholarship and, and I took the opportunity. It, it wasn't an easy journey. I, I don't think I was ready for that big change of life. And these journeys are made by babies, are made by young children, and also by adults, leaving everything they know behind just to start a new life. And we try, we try to be that first point of contact for, for that, for those families. Good morning, sweetie, I'm glad you're here. Good morning, Genesis. Are you feeling any better today? After the 2016 presidential election the next day, more than half of the kids didn't come to school because they were so afraid because they've been hearing all this, this hate and this, this rhetoric um, and this talk about other people. So, you know, even, even kids that weren't necessarily from different countries, but maybe children of color, um, were very afraid that something was going to happen to them. When children are worried about what's happening at home or you know, if their parents might be detained, it's very hard for them to concentrate in class. In the normal law office, you're not going to see, but because we're in the schools, we've actually seen um, the difference it makes with children. You know, children sometimes say, oh, well, my mom's seeing the lawyer today, and so they know that they're getting help and they don't have to worry so much. Um, and you know, we've seen increase in attendance rates and parents' engagement because, again, they know that they're getting the help and not just with the legal services, but we can connect them with so much more. We decided to start out at Roberts Academy for several reasons. One, because it was the staff there that had really identified this need because they had so many families coming in from different countries around the world that really needed help with their, their immigration cases. So they identified the need. Uh, they also had the space for us the people, the immigrant uh, community here in Cincinnati already knows the Roberts Welcome Center. So being a part of that gave us um, access that people could already um, trust us and know that they, they could come and it would be a safe place for them. As far as we know, this is the only organization of its type in the country that is providing uh, legal services directly in the schools. 